that I wanted to speak about, of course, has been a thing that's been on everybody's lips, the Megan and Tory Lanez trial at the moment. It's been absolutely a long, drawn-out affair. It felt like it was never going to end. I think it's been three years since that whole thing happened, right? It feels like it's been far longer than that, but it's only been three years since it happened, and we are finally, finally going to reach a conclusion as to what happened in terms of Kelsey, the Megan's best friend, in terms of Megan, in terms of Tory Lanez at Kylie's house, and now we're learning that Corey Gamble was there because he's always there somehow in the background but I'm just curious to see how this trial actually ends up ending because there's been so many conflicting reports out there in terms of whose side you believe in terms of you know Megan's versions of events which is essentially that she insulted his music and that got him pissed off outside of the house and then that's when he started firing off shots or if you believe Tory Lanez's side of the events where he basically is saying that Kelsey aware that hey Megan's been obviously sleeping with me behind your back and doing all these other things you shouldn't be sticking up for her and because he revealed that secret to Kelsey dead the girls had a fight which then led to the gun being you know uh, discharge who knows who pulled the trigger but something happened but i think what we've got so far after day one and day two the one thing that we've got that's been definitely cleared up in court has definitely been this idea that she wasn't shot she was definitely shot now the definition of a shooting is you know it varies from person to person and from case to case and whatever it may be i've heard or i've read on some accounts that a shooting can occur or a shoot it can be listed as a shooting if you get hit with shrapnel that could still be something that could be deemed to be a shooting so this whole theory that you know whatever bullet that was discharged from the gun might have hit something that then smashed that then cut megan's feet up is still a possibility but this notion that she was never shot is definitely off the table so everybody else campaigning and basically making it seem like she made it up is not true because they found shell casings so the gun was discharged she obviously had wounds on her feet they were probably not you know um wounds that you would maybe correlate to a shooting because essentially people always say you've got all these bones in your in your feet and all these ligaments and tendons and people who have been shot in the feet would definitely tell you that there's no way you can get shot in the feet and then suddenly be at dj khaled's house hanging out and twerking the next couple of days after it just doesn't happen that way she may have been lucky maybe one of those people you know those rare people that exist who you know they get shot and it's unfortunate but it happens to pass through every single bit of their body it doesn't hit any vital organ that could happen or any vital tendon or whatnot but for the most part we know that to be the truth the thing that is really disappointing i feel like for me in this case and something that's been a little bit troubling to kind of wrap my head around is that at the heart of it from what we can see if we're being objective from what we can see the reason why this beef started the reason why they were all arguing because at one point they were all having fun you know as um that famous jordan woods flipping interview always goes it always makes me laugh whenever i think of the words or the phrase having fun i always picture her head i always picture her speaking at the red table and basically giving this impassioned speech as to why you know she may have just happened to sit on tristan's lap and kiss him <laughs> even though she he actually he happens to be the husband or the baby daddy of her best friend sister whatever and it doesn't matter at one point they were all having a great time so all in there frolicking the i think the the timeline of the events is that kylie invited megan and her friend to her house to come and hang out and then in the process of hanging out megan was like hey let's call tory he's in the area let him come and hang out kylie says cool bring him over this is during his you know um quarantine radio day so he's super red hot he comes over and hangs out and then somehow in the process of them hanging out things go left then that spills over to the car which then spills over to obviously the shooting so the things for me that's really sad and disappointing is that from what we can see so far it was definitely something that was you know kind of started off the back of their weird sordid relationship where essentially they were all kind of sleeping with each other but nobody was aware who was sleeping with who there was kind of like a weird love triangle thing going on and what i'm kind of getting which is my only inclination of this my only weird feeling of this is that i always wonder to myself like why would if if there's a, if there if they're furious to believe that megan lied why would she lie like why would you kind of throw away your career or you know put yourself under so much unnecessary scrutiny you know for this it doesn't make any sense but then i was thinking back to it and i was thinking if you really think back to three four years ago what megan was to the culture what she meant in terms of being a fun girl an advocate for women an advocate for young girls you know hot girl summer she was really kind of the girl's girl she kind of you know went out of her way to kind of always be the one championing girls championing women's rights and all this good stuff it wouldn't really look great if it came out that not only are you extremely promiscuous which doesn't really matter really in the grand but just think about it from like a good girl i'm a girl's girl kind of thing 
you just think of them always kind of being around girls and having fun and not having time for boys and that can be an afterthought. So not only are you extremely promiscuous, but you're also somebody who seemed to take delight in smashing your friend's um, flings or interest. You seem to take you know, pride in the fact that you can also bag them as well. This is what we're kind of getting at because it's also got revealed in the court that it was alleged that Megan had also slept with Ben Simmons, who, you know, prayers for him. I think he might be in a relationship, so he just got thrown in there, the baby. And all these people were obviously girls that Kelsey, the best friend, had also been with. So it kind of makes the image of this woman to be like the, you know, the champion of all women kind of crumble if you're there suddenly chasing after all your girlfriend's guys that they're with, whether it's relationships or, you know, people they're just hooking up with. It kind of doesn't look the greatest. So I can imagine in a place like Hollywood, in the entertainment industry at large, where your image is key, right? Your image is everything. That is who you are. You basically sell yourself based on your image, not not the not the strength of your character or anything or your morals or your principles, just the image. I can imagine why somebody in that case wouldn't want to, you know, the world to know that behind the scenes, this is what they get up to because it's going to make them look crazy. So, of course, you would try to paint the narrative that you were the victim of a shooting and that you have no idea why it happened and this crazy lunatic guy shot you in the feet and told you, dance, bitch, dance. That for sure, I would have to completely understand it. But the really sad part of it, to kind of extend that, is that essentially what they want, maybe Megan more so, is you want to send a guy to prison who legitimately didn't do nothing from what we can see so far, who maybe in his head didn't do nothing. Maybe in your head, you know, he didn't do nothing but because you're embarrassed and you don't want to, you want people to find out what you get up to behind the scenes. You don't want people to have this other vision of you or other impression of you. You're willing to send someone to prison over a lover's tiff. It really does beg a belief in it. Like, and it goes to show that a lot of these people, even though they look big and grown, they're extremely immature because as dramatic and as horrendous as this experience could have is i feel like they could have still dealt with it behind the scenes it didn't need to go to this length it didn't need to go to this level but obviously we're here now so it has to kind of you know we have to reach a final conclusion to it but that's a really unfortunate part of it because at the end of this trial someone's career is going to get ruined whether it's Megan because it comes out she's a liar whether it's Tory Lanez because it comes out that he's a you know he's an abuser of women and he legitimately shot someone because you hear stories of you know men in hip-hop hitting women maybe uh, maybe strangling them to some some regard or pushing them somewhere but you've it's been a long time since I've heard a story of a man in hip-hop using a weapon against a woman which is crazy so for sure if you know if people are getting counseled for hitting a woman in anger during an argument just imagine what will happen with somebody if, if you get found guilty of shooting them absolutely insane saying especially somebody as beloved as Megan Thee Stallion even till now so clearly that's going to be a concern and obviously for the Kelsey girl who I would assume you know she's got her own celebrity and her own following but this is going to increase your profile and if it, if if you come out of it looking bad you might not be able to show your face again on social media it's just going to ruin so many people that's a really tragic part of this like no one really wins because it's been so dragged on it's been so protracted like no one actually wins even Megan if she comes you know she'll be if she leaves this court um if she leaves this um trial victorious and tory spends 20 plus years in prison she still had to essentially live under the shadow of three years of people thinking that she's some sort of liar that wanted to see an innocent black man go to prison because she didn't want her sex life to be exposed and she and to some people they may never ever get that image of her outside of her head anyway out of their head so it's going to be hard look at chris brown it's been so many years since the whole rihanna thing happened rihanna has publicly forgiven him they're clearly on good terms we've seen many occasions where they've kind of you know hung out with each other or crossed paths and they're clearly being cordial it's all forgiven everything's moved on but still he's suffering the consequences of that of that night where he um hit her in a lamborghini after i think some record of uh, some award show or something so that's a really sad part of it for everybody involved to be honest it's just like nobody ends up winning off the back of this but it has been quite interesting to see all these juicy bits of information be revealed the really interesting part for me and the thing that I was always a bit dubious on and I felt like was just an unnecessary lie. I feel like in most cases, if people lie about really minute, unnecessary things, it kind of puts into question everything they say. And for me, the biggest one at the beginning of the whole thing was just this idea that Megan said, oh, I'd never slept with Tory Lanez. We never had a sexual relationship. I understand maybe in the heat of the moment, because, you know, this guy shot you 
and you clearly don't like him anymore. You're clearly on bad terms. Maybe before that, there was a lot of bad energy around them. Cool. I understand you just want to be like, I don't even want to acknowledge that you even were near me in any kind of shape or form. But when it turned into a criminal thing and it was, you know, whatever it may be, and it was evolving the courts, she should have just been honest and just owned up to it and just moved on. I think the fact that she denied it for so long, it made it seem a little bit crazy because it's like, why would this random guy that you're not sleeping with like what why would this why would this happen Jeremy you know I mean? it just didn't make any sense and it kind of put everything into question and now of course people are kind of dissecting and going through her flipping sexual history and who she's been with and stuff which is obviously to no concern but off the back of saying you didn't hook up with this person and it clearly you did which is the reason why you were all you know heated in the first place and this is why you're you know you basically invited a person there in the first place because you're comfortable with them enough to invite them to such a place as well all those things come into question but in the end we're going to have to wait and see what happens at the end. There's going to be more people kind of come up on the stand. I've read reports that maybe Kylie might get up on there. Maybe Corey Gamble might get up on there. Um, obviously, Kelsey's going to be there. I think Megan might do a bit more cross-examination, which is going to be difficult because she's already crying and you know being very emotional on the stand, which doesn't necessarily bode well for the rest of the court case because I'm assuming they're going to really go in on her and really grill her. Go, you know, in terms of what happened, I'm assuming Tori will go on the stand too, so he's going to have a time to you know to speak his truth or whatever it may be. And then the conclusion is going to be the conclusion. And it's going to be interesting to see what the culture does when it does eventually end, and if it does come out that you know one side lied will they give that person grace or will it just be one of those things that's like yeah you know you're found innocent but we still think you're guilty things the same way with johnny depp and amber heard who knows man but regardless i don't think anybody wins in this um scenario i really don't think anybody wins at all it's just going to be an absolute horror show for every single person involved unfortunately unfortunately